look like freaking Santa. So in the wise words of uh, every lazy, not very good. So it's it. Let's just go for it. Welcome back to today's vlog. This is everything I made in the month of September and what I want to make in the month of October. So last month I said I wanted to make the shorts by Friday Pattern Company, the Tina blouse by Friday Pattern Company and the Erin Dungarees by Tilly and the Buttons. I made to me, I made the dungarees and did not get around to the other two. Um, the shorts I have cut out, I have a pattern cut out and the fabric, but the weather got really cold really quickly so it really seemed kind of pointless making something that I'm not going to wear uh, this year really. Um, so I probably will make them next year and ready for next summer and yeah, we'll see. The Upatina blouse, I have the pattern printed but not stuck together. Um, and the dungarees are here. Um, you know, they worked out. I'm quite happy with the way they worked out. Um, I didn't want to print out the pattern again, so I horrifically hacked it. Um, I will take you along that journey um, in the rest of the video. Um, this red is a lot. It really is quite a lot. Um, I've now worn these for two days and they're really comfy, they're quite windproof and overall I'm very happy I want to make another pair um, I want to size down probably at least two sizes and so I'm going to get a A0 copy printed and I'm just going to get printed at the fold line and, and then I'm going to hack the pattern into something that um, I think will be super usable for me I want to add at least five pockets. So I want one there, one on two on two on my um, on my bum, and then two um, proper pockets. Because um, at the moment I have no pockets and it's super annoying. Um, yeah, I would not necessarily choose this thickness of cord again. I think a really fine needle cord would work really well. But this fabric was just a test to see whether I liked needle cord, and it was super cheap. Um, so that's why I bought it and now I probably will buy I think a navy blue and a really fine needle cord will look really pretty and really practical. I've added a waist uh, a belt to bring it in to make it look a bit more fitted and you know for kicking around my village, walking the dog, building various bits of pieces for my son it's absolutely perfect, you really can't go wrong. I think on my next pair I want to add in the proper um, clasp, proper dungaree clasps because I just think it look a wee bit more professional a little bit more well finished um, so we'll see when I get time for that October makes I am only making one thing in October, October, November are really busy months for me uh, because of my Christmas cracker company so I don't really get as much time my goal is one item I'd like to get two items finished. So the first thing I want to do is this, the Vogue, so easy, very easy cape. And I have boiled wool. So this is 100% boiled wool fabric in the colour wine. It uh, feels like wool, it's a little bit rough, but not like crazy. Oh, it's, oh, that is beautiful. And then this is anti-static lining fabric in navy and I thought the two colours go really well together. So yeah, that fabric I got for my birthday off my husband. It was my birthday this month and I can't wait to wait here. I'm going to take my time with it and I'm going to go slowly and I think it'll be absolutely the most beautiful thing I've ever made. I'm quite excited, a little bit worried about it going wrong and I think I might take you along on that journey for that. And I also want to make the patina blouse, I really really do. I think it's a really practical piece, especially in the brown clockwork fabric that I have. I think it would go really well with my dungarees as well um, and like it would go really well with navy. I just think a brown shirt as much as it, I think it's maybe possibly a wee bit boring it suits my colouring and it will suit the stuff that I have in my wardrobe so at the top we have the Erin dungarees 
and because I don't want to print off any more paper because I want to make full length trousers now I have gotten like the very first pair of shorts I ever made I kept the pattern pieces again I cut them out as shorts and what I'm going to do is I am going to overlay the trouser pattern on top of the Erin dungarees and then sort of do a mixed design because all I need to know is to cut out the length really and that's kind of it I think so I'm gonna try and do that I suspect this may go horribly wrong but you'll be here to find out so in the wise words of uh, every lazy not very good sewist let's just go for it this might be the weirdest pant scene you've ever seen the worst pant shape we're going for it i look like freaking santa look how big these are man what the hell cut off about three quarters of an inch off each side i'm obviously still wearing my quite thick trousers so there's still obviously quite a bit around here Let's see if it's Yeah, that's better. I feel like I could take a bit more out, but then I wouldn't be able to get them on. So I think the bib is maybe possibly a bit too high. I definitely need to put a belt on. Well, it does come to the waist actually, but I do think the bib can come down a wee bit. Uh, but I still need to put the yoke in. There's the so that's the dungarees done. I did manage to get the two buttonholes in. Okay, let's just get the. So this is the fit without the ties, without the waistband. It's a nice oversized fit. I can move freely. I definitely think this is a lot of red. So this is what it looks like with a jumper, which I think from the top up it looks okay. But I just think red is a bit much. I think come December, I will look right on point. But <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you think, because I think I'm a wee bit scared to wear these out. I think if they were a green or navy or beige or even patterned, I just think so much red. Um, they are really comfy and I think just for chucking something on just to walk the dog or I hate making choices with tops and pants um, so I probably will wear these not gonna lie I want to recut this out on I think I cut a size six um, and I want to cut I think a five or a four or maybe grade between the five and the four because I cut a couple of inches off already I think there's 11 inches of these um, so I want I, I like the fact that these are more fitted um, so I think I'll get that printed and then I can cut a sort of straight size um, straight size 4 or straight size 5 because I think the bib as well I think I want it sort of narrower like narrower kind of up to the top and I want I think more taken off the top so I really want to cut quite a bit of a smaller bib because I, otherwise it's just too it's too long for my torso I think. Um, so I'll probably do that and then I will then I can sort of customise the pattern for something that I'm going to wear over and over and over again. Because that pattern cost me 15 quid so I do want to get my money's worth out of it. Um, and I want to wear something that I will continue to wear. And these are a great pair of winter dungarees now and um, I'm really, I am 
actually really happy with them. Um, I may redo the bib on these, but then I'm quite lazy, so I may not. Oh, I want to show you the yarn um, I got this month as well. I treated myself to some new sock yarn from an Etsy seller who has less than 50 sales. I like buying off Etsy shops who have low number of sales because everyone, you always get a little bit of happiness when you have a sale on Etsy, there's a little ka-ching sound. Also, I want to show you the stitch marker first, which is very cute. It's a little, little mushrooms. Let's see. It's very cute. So it came with some stitch, a stitch marker, a beautiful handwritten note, and a cup of Earl Grey tea, organic tea, which I will use because I am trying to drink less coffee in the afternoons. So the yarn I got, I think my husband's lay claimed to one of these already, unfortunately. I got all DK weight because um, it's winter, coming up to winter and I want a really thick sock and I want something that's going to knit up nice and fast. So this is the first colourway and it is called Eve's Wood and it's just a beautiful green with a little bit of brown in it and I just think it's really beautiful earthy tones. They'll probably be my husband. And then I got these two. So I got this one, which is called Fox's Boots. And it is such a beautiful colourway. I absolutely love it. And I'm going to pair it with this beautiful orange. So this will be with the cuff and the heel and the toe. And that's called Vixen's Coat. So they are all 75% merino, 25% nylon. Um, so this is 20 grams there, 100 grams. So I need to get some more socks off needles before I can add more socks onto needles. So there's that. But yeah, it's been pretty, um, quite a month, a little bit hectic. Um, I have my Etsy restock coming up in the next few days. So keep an eye out for that if you're interested. And I hope you enjoyed my crazy journey with this pair of dungarees. And if you missed my last sewing vlog here it is i made the elysian bodysuit and the uh the mccall skirt and the mccall skirt i've worn out now a few times and it's amazing i absolutely love it it's the perfect autumn skirt and it makes me feel really nice which is good i'm trying to dress more with intention and dress what makes me feel nice i went out in this again today and i feel not quite so crazy. I still feel a little bit crazy. It's a bit much. I look like Mrs. Santa. Not gonna lie. So yeah, until next month, thank you very much.